Okay, we're back. Progressive discussions. Another week has flown by. Supersonic. Supersonic. Yeah, supersonic. You know, by, you know the the freaking years are so. What happened? Oh. Oh, does that mean you drank? Hey. You drank your tea already? Hold it on. wasn't that hot. It wasn't very hot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it. Excuse me, for That's you all right. Just for you people that complain that I get up and down, go fuck yourself. I, I, I noticed people Ooh. I notice people that watch the show and go tell uh the right wing uh asshole William H. Morrow the the turd bullshit artist that it's un I it's unprofessional that okay, I get okay. up and down. Well, I get up and down too much. And why can't he watch it himself and make his? No, because he he doesn't. He refuses to be computer literate. Oh, he doesn't yeah. believe in in going online. He believes in uh, in watching, uh, believing and watching mainstream media and reading the mainstream press, newspapers, uh -huh. everything. He is um, he accepts officialdom. He he says if it wasn't. If it, it if it was really true, it would be on CNN. He doesn't believe that CNN people and MSNBC individuals, uh, personnel, are told what to say and what not to say. He it's thinks it's that all written he there. thinks that the FDA, the mainstream media, uh, Uncle Sam himself, oh. has our best interest. The USDA. Or uh, uh, have our best interest, the medical doctors. They oh, they wouldn't lie to us. They wouldn't try. They wouldn't attempt genocide of, of uh, let's say, uh, people of color, like like in he, Tuskegee or whatever. That yeah, was. like uh, Flint, Michigan, still has that, still has that uh, water, water problem. problem. Yeah. You know, oh no, there's no, there's no genocide of the poor. There's no this. There's no that. There's no, you know. Uh, Everything is hunky dory. Everything's fucking hunky dory, like like. Um, Doesn't need any change. Like Agent Stan Smith of of the cartoon American Dad, you know the flag waver, the big flag waver, anything or like Archie Bunker, you know, yeah. if it's American, can do no wrong. Can do no wrong. It's God. It, it, uh, God is on our side and no one else's side. You know all that all that. Uh, Right wing teabagger bullshit. Blue, bluey, bluey, blue. Right. That's that's how uh, my um, over thirty or thirty five year old friend has become for mm. former friend because we had a huge falling out because he's a pompous, arrogant, pathologically lying, deluded asshole. He was that way when he was younger, but he got worse when he's older. Yes, if you watch it. And you tell him what I said about him. Tell him he can go fuck himself. Tell him to go up to YouTube and watch a couple of Gary Knowles videos. Oh well, you know what? Okay. Because, because I'm not, I'm not dressed in a fine uh, uh, suit, tie, and dress shirt, and we're not in the state of the art studio. We're we're in this grassroots mm -hmm. revolution, uh, of mom, pa, kettle uh, studio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because we're not, we don't present ourselves like the mainstream media, and because I get up and down once in a while, mm -hmm. to him it's not professional. I, 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 you know what he said to me when I when I went to have coffee with the asshole wearing a t-shirt. Uh, oh, I had um, my my baseball cap on with my fishing pins, Ooh. and you know you know uh, uh, he says oh oh. That's a real chick magnet. I says, well, what's a chick magnet? Uh, G I got to be dressed like GQ magazine? Where am I going that I have to be dressed that way? I'm not going to a job. Meeting you, meeting with you, buddy boy, for coffee is not <laughs> going. It's not a job. I'm not getting paid for it. Anyway, I am drinking a, a Yinlings, America's oldest brewery, India Pale Lager. Actually, we are. IPL. I, I right. India Pale Lager, Yinling, America's Brewery, since 1829. 
and hopefully I'm holding the bottle straight into the camera but you can see it India not India pale ale but India pale lager lager okay let me get my first swig did you have your first swig puts hair on your chest this uh tastes like a uh, a draft from behind the uh yeah yeah fresh Wait, what's the, what's the right yeah. word draught or draft 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 yeah. Seven lucky bells for this week's progressive discussions. And everything we discuss politically is part of our series, Crapitalism in a Conch Shell. Soaking that conch energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, King Neptune, what else is no? You know, of course, every week <coughs> uh, the more dirt comes out. Uh, Comey, it, it has decided. James Comey has decided. Uh, I guess he got so sick and tired of uh, all the criticism that he has decided to confess or come clean or something like that. No, he's going to. Uh, what he's going to say is going to be the opposite of what Mr. Trump said. He's going to he's going to shake up the can of uh, the hornet's nest. And he's can got, of worms. And he's got notes. Okay. Well, because he's he's been criticized so much and discredited so so much that he he I guess he decided enough is enough. Yep. You know, um, I just wish he he you know goes after Hillary Clinton also and and brings everybody down, you know. And, uh, well, forget about Hillary Clinton. She is nothing anymore. Sh she's not relevant. That's correct. Anymore. She is not relevant. Even though Bernie Sanders' grassroots revolution was was sabotaged, which is sad. But but there is a, a silver right. cloud, a silver lining in a in a cloud. Uh, our revolution is uh, becoming very big and popular. Yeah. And they and they have been posting online many live stream videos and sometimes they have establishment <laughs> guests like Elizabeth Warren so Jeff Weaver and Bernie Sanders are not finished yet oh let's not forget Tulsi Gabbard now there is a female candidate for 2020 that might just take Bernie's former uh, Bernie Krat legions <coughs> God bless you thank you uh, oh, I'll tell him about that. Oh, oh, I, I just want to say that I absolutely despise with a passion American-made water faucets made by companies like Moen and Delta. They are all, they all force the low-flow water-saving trickle-down, not economics, faucet tri heads. yeah, faucet heads. It, I feel like. It, it, the, the landlord had the plumber put one in the bathroom sink. I feel like I, I'm, it's taking me forever to rinse my hands. I hate it. I hate it. Screw whatever governmental agency that made it mandatory for American faucets and shower heads to have water saving devices that you cannot remove anymore. I used to be able to pop them out, but you can't remove them anymore low flow but guess what my shower head is special from Italy and it is not low flow uh -huh. there's no fucking way just like I the gotta wash the dishes in the shower just like the Seinfeld episode the low flow shower heads when Morty Seinfeld says low flow I don't like the way that sounds <laughs> and he was right well, there you go but um in terms of um, <clears throat> internet glitches, it's non-stop stress. Uh, yeah, Facebook has glitches every day. They also have uh, hypocritical community standards, and I've said this before. You know, they uh, they get so upset over. Uh, sexually oriented risque photos uh, or or nudity just plain old nudity they get so upset over that 
uh, worrying about offending some prudish uh, evangelical, probably. But they, they never but, bothered with that. But they forget about they forget all about the massive spamming that's thrown at you, and allowing all of the fake profile scammers, mostly from Nigeria and Ghana. <clears throat> that use a uh, very attractive young uh, Caucasian American model photographs. I bet these people have no idea that these scammers are using their photographs mm -hmm. to create fake profiles. I assume they use a legitimate email address because you have to, you have to. to form an account. And they'll go after you and they'll throw a sob story. Well, they'll target Americans and Europeans. They'll give you a sob story. It's always the same sob story. And they'll try to sucker you into wiring them money. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's not just Facebook. All social websites, all of social media is now infested with these scammers using fake profiles. Yeah, yeah. Online dating websites, you name it, they are all over. Like, like the German cockroach, the common cockroach. They have infested all of social media and dating websites. Shame on you. You should be drone attacked. Your office buildings in Ghana and Nigeria should be drone attacked or carpet bombed by the Trump administration. If he's going to do that to anybody, he should do it to you people. And this is not counting cyber attacks and hackers. <coughs> it's getting worse. On the Science Channel, Reverend Bill. <coughs> There's a there's a show about uh, high tech criminals that how how they're they're acquiring these whiz uh, whiz kids these computer geniuses wizards hackers like like to yeah. to and then and then at the FBI has people working for them yeah. CIA and and it's like it's like the Cold War yeah you know the criminals get one up on you exactly then. CIA, FBI, they get one up on the criminals. Then the criminals make a comeback, get one up on them again. Exactly. And it goes back and back forth. Back and forth, continues. Because, because for some reason with the human race, um, there's no remorse in, in what is called <laughs> ill-gotten gains. It's like, it's like a, a, a trait of a sociopath. They, they don't care if they, if they clean out the life savings of senior citizens don't care. They feel no remorse in doing that, Reverend Bill. Well, uh, didn't you see that guy who plowed into the people in uh, 40 seconds? Yes, and day? I want to make a comment because uh, Mr. the creator himself, Mario Petrus, sent me the uh, Walgreens security camera that got the whole thing. Uh -huh. He did not look and behave behind the wheel like a drunk DWI uh, 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 case. Well, it looked very deliberate. He was in traffic. He was methodically uh, driving very conservatively in traffic. As soon as the traffic started moving, the light changed. He quickly turned around, pointed his car towards the people on the uh, walkway, the sidewalk, and pedal to the metal, floored it, and mowed him down. It looked like a deliberate terrorist attack. You could tell when somebody's drunk. They're well, not. he was smoking uh, marijuana and PCP. Both. Both. That's angel dust, right? Plus, PCP. he's mentally ill from his time in the Marines. So, you know. So uh, he, and so he decided to to kill he, innocent. He deliberately said, "I want to kill them." Kill who? All the people. But these are so it, these are innocent act. these are innocent civilians, Americans. No, but it was a deliberate act. It was deliberate, right? I, yeah, it was. At first, they made it sound like you know, no, like no, it was DWI. He was. He's drunk driving. No, no, no way, no. Not, no. not the way, not what from what I saw in the security no. camera. The he wall. said it right out loud. He started screaming when he got ran out of the car, and I I wanted to kill him all. Okay, so his lawyer is going to get him off on insanity or temporary yeah. insanity and um, I think one person which I'm shocked right one person died a 18 year old girl from Michigan oh uh, her tourist. sister's in a hospital with broken pelvis and everything I an think. 18 year old girl from Michigan 
got snuffed out. He had, she had her whole life ahead of her. She was probably a tourist in Midtown yeah. Manhattan. Yep, yep. And she came to see the naked cowboy. What a p poor kid. 18 years old died from this. This. Idiot. Uh, well, I hear the. Um, well, hey, you know what? Thank you, uh, uh, establishment uh, uh, two-party system for uh, particularly Republicans for uh, sending these people to wars they should never be sent to. Wars for profit has nothing to do with our the security Freedom. the security of the United States. And it's wars for profit. So the guy the guy got messed up. Going to a war he shouldn't have been sent to, mm -hmm. comes back, and an 18-year-old lost her life. Mm -hmm. But civilian lives, I guess they don't matter much Collateral to, to, damage. to very, very wealthy, greedy people that only care about profit, more money, more profit. Mm -hmm. They're not rich enough. Mm -hmm. They're apparently not wealthy enough. Mm -hmm. And that goes for the top of the top 1% of the uh, financial population. They're never wealthy enough. Even if, they, if they're if they 100 years old, they're an old geezer, and they're a multi-multi-billionaire, or even a trillionaire, mm -hmm. they still do not have enough money. No. But uh, on a lighter note, yesterday I had, uh, for the second night, I had... Uh, a very huge, uh, thick, uh, mm -hmm. uh, wild Alaskan salmon steak that I cooked with uh, by stir frying some seasoned brown basmati rice. It was delicious. Of course, I got it from the H Mart Korean market. Uh, it's a chain. There's not a lot of them, but it's nationwide, and they have uh, an impeccable seafood department. And uh, because all of these is closed for remodeling. Ah. And it's a good thing I got you that my soup. It's a good yeah. thing I got you that bean and bean. 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 bean and bacon. Yeah. Bean with bake oh, bean I owe you a with dollar. bacon soup. I bean owe you a buck. Oh, okay. Bean with bacon soup. It's a good thing I got it. Yeah. Because they're closed for, for remodeling. So wow. that means I gotta go to ShopRite and pay more money for my groceries. Yeah, gotta love these. Gotta love the the flip top cans, man. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Another great, thoughtful invention. Mm. All right, you know what? Of course, I can go on and on, and I can talk about uh, lying infomercials and and products, shoddy products. But I, I'll give you a little heads up. If you're gonna buy something. Check out the reviews, please. Amazon has reviews. Um, um, I mean, Amazon's probably oh uh, Yelp. Yelp. It's a stupid name, but it, it's a great website yeah. for reviews. For you know, mostly local establishments. Check out the reviews on Amazon and Yelp before you buy read all the reviews Walmart has reviews allows for reviews which I'm surprised that the Walton family would allow reviews on their own website but they do um, and uh, do what I do go to Google shopping click on lowest price to highest and if nothing comes up just click on the relevance you know mm -hmm. the search type in your search Find what you're looking for. See who has the lowest price with free shipping. They might take you to eBay. They might take you to um, to Amazon. They might take you to a store. They might take you to, to Walmart or Best Buy. Mm. But, you know, locate it. Try to get it free shipping. And that's how I shop. And, and definitely read the reviews. Uh, especially for an infomercial product. So... On that note, um, at least I'm administrator again in Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food. Uh, two of my former 
Facebook groups. I had five, but uh, the Zionist, a uh, hawk nose Mark Zuckerberg, Zucker scum, mm -hmm. and his uh, douchebag cunt named Mary at the main office, totally wiped out and, and took away almost six years since 2012 of hard work. Everything I, I put into those groups and page were gone. Why? Because when Andrew Anderson sent me those newly leaked out uh, nude photographs of a uh, WWE Charlotte Flair, I went and posted it on one of the groups and, and that, that's what got me terminated. But uh, they asked me to immediately remove them, but I couldn't because I was banned for three days. Uh -huh. Now, when they punish you for three days, you cannot Do comment anything. or post or upload anything. So naturally, I could my hands were tied. But when I told this Mary, it fell on deaf ears. It's almost like she wanted to make an example of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, this right wing attitude towards sexuality censorship is what it is it was never before on Facebook now all of a sudden now all of a sudden all right now now they're fake now they're they're not only fake fake profile conscious but they're also fake news quote unquote conscious you know fake news could be just a person telling you something that you don't want to hear something that hits a raw nerve like let's say a gentleman looks in the mirror like Herman Munster used to look in the mirror and say you handsome devil you and then the mirror would crack well fake news could be let's say somebody says you know what you know handsome devil you look like fucking Quasimodo man and any guy gets all upset I'm offended I'm offended well it's true you see somebody else in the mirror now it could be the truth but the person who doesn't like what they hear like Donald Trump, we'll call it fake news. Mm -hmm. It's a witch hunt. I use that word with yeah, uh, yeah. Com James Comey. It's a witch hunt. About the uh, the relationship with or Russia. That's what it, that is. Right, and Russia's involvement in the 2016 right. election. Um, the uh, oh, well, Anthony Weiner's in the news too. Well, apparently. he's got his sentence. That's what that was. I think it was 27 months. Sex, sexting, ting, not texting, sexting with a minor. A minor, yes. Supposedly the minor uh, uh, was 15 years old. He was a sick man. He looks he looks like a dachshund. You ever see his face? He's got a, he looks like a dachshund. He mm. looks like a wiener. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, the article said the... Uh, Wieners, Anthony Wiener is roasted. He's a roasted wiener, something roasted like that. Wiener. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, let us sink our teeth into these readings. <laughs> I'm invigorated by Yinling Craft Beer. Okay. Very invigorated. This is a, a good luck Blackthorn shillelagh from <laughs> Ireland, if you're wondering what the hell is this guy waving around. It's better than any gavel that Judge Judy ever owned. Apparently, the letter writer has been asleep for six years. He would give a failing grade to my Democratic Party for having done nothing about the major issues of the day. I also long for the days when Democrats and Republicans work together to find common ground, such as during the reign of Democratic House Speaker Tip O'Neill. Ah, uh, he's dead, right? Yeah, May that was Reagan's peace, days. Yeah. By way of the update to the writer, the legislative branch of the government has been held hostage by the Republican Party since 2011. The House Speaker, by way of example, is Republican Conservative Paul Ryan. Yeah, piece of shit. Who, by the way, still thinks President Trump is doing a great job. Of course, because President Trump called him a genius after they voted uh, 
to get rid of Obamacare, the House. Genius, where's that genius Paul Ryan? Where is he? Where is he? He knew where he was. He was right behind him. The Sm Senate is controlled by Republican Mitch or McConnell. Yes, the turtle face. Republicans have, in some quarters, come to be called the party of no. I believe that there are both Democrats and Republicans who want to move forward on the issues of the day, but nothing will happen. They really want to move forward? For real? Until the right wing of the GOP is either voted out of office or comes to realize that there is a great benefit to compromise. I think Americans are slowly starting to get sick and tired of career politicians in general. I think, I think the, wow. uh, I, I think, hey, even, even the rednecks that vote Republican are starting to get pissed. Yeah. Because they're losing their bread and butter. You know, whatever they, they whatever they, uh, they have left to live on. Yeah, their so, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Hey, you know right. what, you, uh, like, like I heard, uh, I heard when uh, billionaire Mark Cuban was being interviewed on Fox News, the Fox News uh, person, uh, which I, I I don't remember his name because I don't watch Fox. Yes, they do have uh, they do have very attractive, uh, big-breasted women working for them, but right. I don't watch it. You know, he says, "Hey, when when people run out of unemployment, they go on SSI because there's no other." Choice, and then then they they don't become part of the uh, per, the count, the percentage count. Yeah, well, yeah. if SSI is not done away with, as people like Paul Ryan would like to do. Well, that well, they they Paul Ryan wants you to be yeah. in the gutter dying. Yeah. Ryan wants you dying if you're a po folk. That's right. He don't want you to have. He don't even want you to have. I bet Medicaid and charity care or right. nothing. 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 Nothing for nothing. So in other words, uh, Paul Ryan represents a system where you have to pay out of pocket for every damn thing. That's right. I think that sucks. How is how is that God's country? How why would God bless America <laughs> if it's in America where the poor never get help and you have to pay out of pocket? For everything, because nothing's a right. Everything is like either a privilege or 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 something you gotta have money, you gotta buy to buy or purchase. Yes. Right to purchase yeah. it. Right. Yeah. And of course, same thing with education. They don't like public education. They want to actually dumb down the mainstream, That's right. so you will work for less than minimum wage, no benefits. Or become a slave to the corporation. Bingo. The oligarch, the fascist the oligarch. The operative word is slave. Yes, and oh, by the way, uh, people are still mistakenly using the word radical. Radical. Yeah, yes, they are. Yes, when they it are. comes to uh, progressives, democratic socialism, uh, in general, even terrorism. They, 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 it's like people don't know their their political definitions according to the dictionary. Well, guess what? They're misusing the word radical. That's right. Yes. A 16-year-old South Carolina teen uh -huh. died last month from ingesting too much caffeine. Probably drinking Red Bulls. According to the Richmond County Coroner. The Red Bulls are really concentrated, I hear. Davis Allen Kripe, Kripe died from a caffeine-induced cardiac event causing a probable arrhythmia. I, I saw a uh, department manager being taken out on a, by an ambulance by drinking too many Red Bulls because he was working the graveyard shift. He was sucking them Red Bulls down. Mountain Dew, too. And what does Red Bull advertise? Energy, they call it an energy, energy drink. drink. Yes. yes, it's not. Yes. It's not good, healthy energy. It's not like bee pollen or, you know what I mean, or royal jelly. Royal jelly, or or or, or taking the basic nutritional program mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with high B complex. No, it's not like that. No. Or eating good, healthy food. No. No. 
Oh no. It's by ingesting lots of caffeine. Well, you know, it's like yesterday. I, I a gentleman friend of mine criticized taking vitamins. Oh, so you used the word gentleman loosely. Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> um, he really? was he is under the impression that uh, vitamins are chemicals. And therefore you are not getting uh, the real vitamins and stuff unless you're getting them from in the other food. Word, in other words, he was he was saying that that uh, uh, vitamins purchased from uh, in pill form or capsule form are synthetic. Uh, let's take B B complex for example. He was saying he was saying they're synthetic B complex because they are high amounts of B. Let's say 50 to 100 milligrams of the B complex. He says they're synthetic. Right. And they're no good. Chemicals. He's making the difference between chemicals and food. Vitamins are food elements. But didn't nutritional. Didn't read the label. What it says on all, but, all the labels. But hasn't science determined that the hundred milligrams of, uh, let's say, vitamin B6 pyridoxine is is the same as vi vitamin B6 in food? Yeah. It, it, it's the same element. Now yeah. the only thing that's different would be. Um, uh, minerals, because mi let's say mineral, the all right, minerals in supplement form are chelated for a good reason. That's how you're able to absorb them. All right, yeah, but they are food elements. But the mineral, but the minerals in food. Let's say uh, bar. Let's take barley grass, wheat grass, alfalfa grass. Mm -hmm. The minerals, or, or even kelp, the minerals in that are still chelated to amino acids by nature. So the, 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 the chelation, they're bound to amino acids in nature, but we also have minerals in supplement form that are uh, chelated by, uh, they are amino acid chelated minerals, right. like selenium that comes from methionine. Right. Is a, ye a yeast-free selenium. There are some vitamins, not, you know, that are chemicals. Or glycine, glycinates. Per se. Yeah. Why would you buy those? You know, yeah. When well, you could buy the natural stuff, or or what else, uh, other stuff. Well, that you uh, need. biologically active uh, vitamin That's C. That's right. Biologically active vitamin C can be equaled, uh, and 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 the old book by Dr. Richard Passwater called Super Nutrition says all you have to do is take mega dose of vitamin of ascorbic acid, mega dose of synthetic ascorbic acid. Will will become equivalent to the biologically active natural vitamin C, or you just take equal amounts of bioflavonoids. So you'll take um, for every 500 milligrams of synthetic ascorbic acid, you'll take 500 milligrams of uh, bioflavonoids complex. Yeah. Well, the point you know, the point was to negatively you know, uh, suggest that uh, what I do, let's say, uh, is worthless. It's poo poo and the whole worthless. idea of what you worthless. do. Yeah. You know, Consumer Reports, and I'm glad I remember this, have been coming out with many articles that are anti-nutritional supplementation Absolutely. and pro-Big Pharma. Absolutely, they've been doing that for years. Consumer Reports, be careful about what you believe from their publication. Absolutely. Bi there's a biased uh, 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 approach to consumer reports. Absolutely. They've been doing that to Gary Knowles stuff for years. Now, just like Google has been uh, uh, proven to, uh, let's say, you go to Google, you type in search engine, and a Google search engine, you're, you're looking for something, the, the whatever comes up on the first page, they've accused Google of putting the people who pay the most That's right. on the first search That's right. page, which is uh, kind of unethical when you think of it. But it's business as usual. Cat America. Crap at the... Hey, where's the conch? You grease my palm, baby, you know. Crapitalism in a conch shell. Crapitalism. There's nothing honest about the capitalist system. Of course not. But there are people who are brainwashed to think that, oh, if it isn't American capitalism, 
Well, you're you're you're, mm -hmm. you're going straight to hell in a handbasket. You're you're not you're not a yeah. I don't know why they they equate that with Christianity. They do, but it, their Christianity is not of the of the Bible. No, it is. It's a cult. Yeah. The teen ingested the caffeine from a large diet Mountain Dew. I guess a, Mountain Dew. A cafe latte. It's not like that country western song. From McDonald's and an energy drink over the course of about two hours. While many may worry their caffeine consumption could put them at risk, the average person who drinks a cup or two of coffee has nothing to worry about. Here's a look at what can happen if you drink too much coffee. Most people can safely take in about 400 milligrams of caffeine daily or about four cups of coffee. According to Robert Glattner, yeah. Glatter, an emergency physician at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. But the limit varies from person to person. For adults, it would be uncommon to experience effects of caffeine intoxication at less than 250 milligrams of caffeine, or two and a half cups of coffee. It would typically be more than 12 ounces, but much more common to have the negative effects with greater than 500 milligrams of caffeine. Glatters notes that children should limit caffeine consumption and caffeine and alcohol should not be mixed. Oh, really? Mixing caffeine with alcohol is a dangerous practice. Oh. It may lead to higher levels of alcohol consumption as the person often believes and feels they are more alert. In other words, the, they get the buzz from the alcohol, but they're losing their their alertness their, or their fake yeah. energy. Their so they'll energy. they'll drink more, they'll ingest more caffeine, and uh, and then if you if you're if you're too jittery, then you drink more booze, <laughs> and it goes back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. The risk of alcohol poisoning increases as people consume more alcohol because they feel the caffeine will keep them awake and alert. Yeah, like like people that are forced to work crazy hour jobs. Yeah, night shift. Yeah, night shift. Uh, or maybe uh, these suckers, because of our stick and lousy s political system, I have to end up working two jobs Ooh. to make ends meet. Yeah. Meanwhile, the uh, Republican uh, Congress and uh, uh, they they don't even work part-time hours. Yeah, and get paid a ton of money. Glatter said the most common symptoms of excessive caffeine intake or palpitations are palpitations, dizziness, elevated blood pressure, nervousness, and anxiety. Some people may also develop diarrhea and feel like their stomach is upset as their caffeine intake increases. I apologize for the dog barking and the noises outside. You know, we're going all natural with the, with the, with the screen on. Not being able to sleep is another obvious symptom of consuming excess caffeine. Oh, naturally, yeah. Everyone is different. Some may experience side effects after a cup of coffee. Or others may be able to drink two cups or five cups. Oh gosh. With no issue. I know I know somebody, I knew somebody that could drink uh, a cup of very strong coffee at two, three o'clock in the morning and go right to sleep. <laughs> Don't ask me how. It highly varies from person to person as to how much caffeine will affect them. It can be due to speed, 
in which our bodies process caffeine or how caffeine leaves the body. If you are susceptible to symptoms like nervousness or trouble sleeping, according to Sweeney, likewise those who increase the amount of caffeine they normally consume may also be more sensitive to coffee's negative side effects. Yeah. That's this, that. You gotta be kidding. It's the same thing. The, the, the Wonderful. The machine. Thank, thank you, Verizon. Hey, you see the machine? It's on there, not on this one. Let it go. Let it go. See what it is. What happened? I thought. No, I hit the. I hit a button. Yeah, but I thought it was off entirely. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not this one that has the answering machine anymore. It's the old. So this is tied into that. Yes. So so not, so, so by me, so machine. by me not being able to shut the phone off. It rang, which means that Verizon just fucked fu fucked our show. Thank you. Um, but um, the answering machine is on the old one, not on the new one. Yeah, but the fact is, it rang. Yes. It well, rang. I don't know why. No, I don't know either. You took the thing off. Sure, I certainly. Well, uh, well, I, I, yeah, I, I have to tap. I have to tap it. But I've been tapping the hell out of it like a woodpecker. But it should be off. Should be off. Remember what I said before about the many glitches of Facebook? Well, in this case, it's the many glitches of Verizon. Right. You have your service is Verizon, right? Yes, sir. Your telephone, okay. For that telephone, yes. Yeah, oh, but no nor normally I shut it off when we do a show. Yeah. Well, well anyway. I don't know what happened, but I the, the yeah. machine, the answer machine is on the old phone. Anyway, we, uh... That's all I know. We kind of, uh worked it into the show as, as humor. Yeah, let's very just, humor. Ha 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 let's take it as humor. Or like George, uh, uh, the little bald guy in the honeymooners laugh, he went hee hee hee. Remember with Harvey? I'm gonna go tell Harvey the pool table. Harvey, oh, you better not use that pool table. Me and my friend Harvey are gonna use it. The honeymooners. I think I saw it. Harvey. I saw the Howling Man last night again on Twilight Zone. Now it decides. Well, there it is. Now well, now yeah. it decides after I pecked the hell out of it. All right, well. All right, anyway. There's Likewise. A, a, more noise. Those who increase the amount of caffeine they normally consume may also be more sensitive to coffee's negative side effects. People might have rambling thoughts if they consume too much coffee. I have rambling thoughts uh, whacked out with my shillelagh. It would take a lot of K-cups. <laughs> but it also varies depending on your weight. It would likely take anywhere from 50 to 100 cups of coffee to result in a lethal dose of caffeine. 100 cups of coffee? What the hell was this young man doing? Yeah, what the hell? He only had a Mountain Dew, cafe latte, and an energy drink. Yeah, well, isn't isn't there a, some kind of caffeine tablet uh, um, for energy? Uh, um, oh yeah. Is it Viverin? Five? What is it? After five or something? The one that five used to the commercial was that Viverin? No, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock, uh, and you drop dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> five o'clock until you have a, a heart attack. Unbelievable. Glatter said. Yeah. Pure powdered caffeine. Yikes. Can be lethal if a teaspoon is consumed at once. The really? recommended dose of powdered caffeine in this form is just one sixteenth of a teaspoon. Yikes, really? It's that potent, huh? Absolutely. One sixteenth of a teaspoon. I think the smallest teaspoon I have is uh, one quarter. I think on my on my measuring spoons. No, right, uh, yeah. I think it, I I think um I I because I, I use um when I make whole grain organic hot cereals, yes. the uh, the the serving size is usually the same. It's one quarter of a cup. But I learned that four 
teaspoons makes one quarter of a cup is equivalent to one four, quarter. What do you say? One four, th no, three, like a quarter, four fourths of a teaspoon? Like four teaspoons. Four no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, four tablespoons. Four tablespoons is, is equivalent to one quarter of a cup of dry mix. Oh, okay, because four, four yeah. tablespoons. Four tablespoons. Forget about teaspoon. I was twelve wrong. teaspoons. Yeah. So 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 if uh, if your yeah. average box of whole grains says serving size one quarter of a cup to one cup of water, let's say it's a uh, steel cut Irish oatmeal. Okay, organic. One quarter of a cup, dry mix. A, 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 to one cup of water but if I'm in a position where I don't have the quarter of a cup with me I just add four tablespoons equals the quarter of a cup I have the conversion chart it, 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 it comes yeah. in handy yeah it really does especially yeah. if you cook now if you don't cook you got problems <laughs> then you have to rely on somebody else to cook but we are going to Speaking of the word cook, we are going to break for lunch because it is that time. Right. You know what I mean? So we'll see you um, for the balance of the show. You will now uh, be experiencing how to defeat a conservative Bible verses followed by our promo. And we'll be back. Good. Hopefully with no more interruptions. Good. Uh, uh, yeah, well, what is coitus interruptus? What coitus the fuck? interruptus. What is that? Is that when pulling you, out too, you know, too soon. So you pull, you, you pull out so you don't come inside the woman, the girl. That's right? correct. Theoretically, uh, uh, it's risky, but it's preventing but any it, spermatozoa right. from entering her vagina. However, it's risky, but it but it can work. However, but it can fail, right? It yeah. can fail because there are spermatozoa in the precoital fluid. In other words, leaking of the dick. Yeah, it's correct. El leako of el dico. Oh, all right, we learn something all the time. We're teachers and comedians Aye. and masters of the universe, and we are uh, guardians of the universe. Guardians of the universe, yeah. uh, the, uh, the the seekers of truth, real hard hitting truth. Hard-hitting truth, and we have, um, I don't know if it's psychic ability, but we, um, we have uh, a, a, a mystical insight into many things. Okay, we may not have the expensive state-of-the-art studio, like uh, the Ring of Fire, Mr. Cousins, and, uh, and Sank, Chubby, Chubby, Sank, Euchre, Iker, of the Young Toiks. And that high-pitched Minnie Mouse uh, chick that works with him. <laughs> oh, she's so annoying. It's like nails on a chalkboard, man. Nails on a chalkboard. Oh, my gosh. Beep, 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 beep. You know, we don't have the bucks. We got a very humble studio. But it's all about content. You hear that? You hear that, spies of William H. Morrow, the turd? Oh, it is all about content, content, content. Well, he's not doing anything in his retirement anyway, so who is he to criticize?
Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Yeah, in order for something, in order for something to be a no-brainer, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, a person would have to already have a brain. Otherwise, how on earth can you recognize if or something is a brain not tied behind his back like uh, Rush Limbaugh? Yeah, well, now the the modern-day Rush Limbaugh is. Um, uh, Oh, the hell's his name? Name? Um, the um, Infowars gentleman from Texas. Infowars. Yeah, his organization's Alex Jones. Oh, Jones! Wait a minute. He's a Bill O'Reilly. He's a right wing. Bill O'Reilly just joined uh, Joneses. 
show. Oh, because he got fired, right? Yeah. Oh, he's part of InfoWars now. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yep. And, of course... Um, I guess Aura TV doesn't want him, you know. Aura TV has uh, William Shatner, Larry King, Jesse Ventura. I don't think they want anybody like Bill O'Reilly. And once him of all died, um, Fox News, the guy. Roger Ailes. Roger Ailes, yeah. I guess something was... Ailing him. <laughs> the Liberty Bells. I, ha I had to do that. I'm sorry. I mean, if it, if it was somebody we liked, uh, I would have did the eulogy. You know, a uh, moment of silence. A little went to their wake. Yeah. Yeah. What a goofy looking guy he was. The first time I ever saw his photo. He looked like somebody who would uh, sexually uh, harass uh, the females. Uh, on Fox News, but then again, maybe he was the one that hired the Buxamy uh, bombshells. Well, he did, but uh, you except know, for uh, like you know, uh, 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 Ann Coulter. I mean, yikes! Uh -huh. Ugh. Now, Van uh, Greta Van Suster and the one with the crooked mouth. She's gone. She's, she, on, she's on MSNBC. Did she like uh, become more moderate, perhaps? She's become liberal. Yeah. Van Suster. Yep, yep, why, yep, yep. why is her mouth like that? Does she have a stroke? It seems to me she had something. Could be Bell's palsy. It could be that. You ever hear of Bell's palsy? Yes, I did. I yeah. thought I had it once. Another yinling, uh, uh, India Pale uh -huh. Lager, America's oldest brewery, 18. Hold on, I gotta keep up with 29. Oh, you got a good memory. Hey. 1829. Thank you. Greta Van Sus Sustanon. Oh, that's a steroid. It's a pop. You know what? I don't watch mainstream media anymore. I'm not interested in uh, re uh, Sellout, Rachel Maddow, or any of them. <coughs> I have me. no use for any of them. I mean, if, if I want to know what's going on in general, in general, in general I, I watch, I'll turn C CNN on a little bit. A little bit. I mean, I'm, I would, I don't, I would not leave it on all day. Or, or for instance, uh, I have Verizon FiOS and our local New Jersey uh, news and weather station is uh, Channel One. One. Well, yeah. Well, uh, optim 12, optimum, optimum is Channel Twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. News Twelve, New Jersey, with optimum is News Twelve, but ours is one, and. I would just, just, just to get the headline news. I'm not interested in the opinions of any mainstream media. I don't even want to call them journalists. Well, believe me, you'll get the headlines because they repeat it over and over. Over and over and over. <laughs> During they, the day. They repeat it with Verizon Files too. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you know what? The, you know what I hate? When they repeat unimportant, trivial bullshit which uh, the underground media says is a deliberate distraction to keep the American public mm -hmm. from focusing on what's really going on in this country. And, and, and I mean like trivial stuff, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a certain town, uh, the girl volleyball team won the state championship. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? Honestly, even you parents that have kids that are in sports, who the fuck cares? Are, are you are you the only ones that ever gave birth to children? Are you the only ones whose children are excelling at anything I or or so, in yeah. little league volleyball? Who the hell cares? With the shit that's going on in this country and and the environment being going downhill and global warming and corruption and this that and the other thing and 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 uh, uh, 23, 24 million people losing their Affordable Care Act. Yeah. Do we really need to hear about your your daughter's volley, volleyball team winning the state championships? Nope. No. Hell no. Anyway, yeah. let's sink our teeth into these readings. Rather Wait, 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 wait. Lucky bells. Uh, seven lucky bells. Rather than dealing with long daily security briefings, President Trump wants one page with bullet points. 
oh, to points. make his decisions. Oh, bullet points is so you like pay attention to bullet points. Yeah, like a, a period before the statement. Uh, uh, it's a big fat period. Or a number one, or whatever. Well, a big fat period. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. Bullet points. Bullet points. In other words, he wants the guy who wrote the letter or briefing to tell him what he what he should think. The guy is giving him a couple of decisions. Well, he should do. He should go one step further, Trump. He should have uh, all capital letters, like a <laughs> like a friggin' hit letter or something. All, all capital letters and bullet points. Pay attention to me. Okay. He prefers to listen to an array of sources, advisors. Oh man. TV telecasts, Shillelagh. news articles, friends. And then goes with his gut. Oh, gee, not with his brain, and not with research, and not with with science and proven fact. Remember, oh, w G, uh, G. W. Bush said the same thing. Truth was his gut. Really? That's right. Is the, is that the same gut feeling that that told everyone that he spoke to God? Probably. Probably. That 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 a person like G. W. Bush would would be so arrogant to think that he has a bat phone to God himself. Well, what about uh, what you call it from? Uh, it's like Dick Cheney having a bat phone to God. Minnesota, the woman, when God told her to run. Oh, uh, 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 Michelle Bachman. Right. Turner Overdrive. Right. Good looking, a good looking older chick, but pretty, pretty stupid, like like Sarah Palin, who told, who said that Barack Obama was shucking and jiving. Shucking and jiving, baby. That's a Ross's statement, man. People close to Trump know this can lead to a slanted view as to what is happening in the real world and use this unorthodox approach to enhance their influence. Huh? During the run-up of the election, oh. Trump often made outlandish and controversial statements. Late in the campaign and since uh, assuming office, his advisors have made sure he has had a script to strictly adhere to. But in an unscripted environment, such as the meeting, with the Russian Secretary of State and Ambassador, left to his own devices, Trump's ego seems to have done him in by passing along potentially inappropriate information. Soon Trump will embark on a major trip on which he will be meeting formally and informally with many heads of state. Religious leaders, NATO, at its summit meeting, and heads of 50 Muslim-majority nations. Yeah. Based on recent history, what is the likelihood there may be further damage done? There will be damage done, believe me. Well, that didn't take long. Less than four months into Donald Trump's presidency, members of Congress are tossing around the word impeachment. Uh -huh. The British tabloids gush headlines such as, Will he be impeached? Bookies there put the odds at 33%. It's a term and a process with a rich and ignominious history. Two presidents have been impeached. Neither was convicted. A third resigned in disgrace rather than face near certain conviction. Only eight people have been impeached in the House, 
and convicted in the Senate, all federal judges. The process is spelled out in the Constitution, Article 2, Section 4, specifies that the President, Vice President, all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Misdemeanors, Mrs. Demeanors, Ms. Demeanors. But what other crimes are impeachable offenses? Hmm. Was left for the Congress to sort out. <laughs> the Congress to sort out. Oh, President sure. Andrew Johnson was impeached in 1868 for abuse of power. President Bill Clinton. 130 years later for perjury and wow. obstruction of justice. Yeah, well, what was even worse than the Monica Lewinsky uh, so-called scandal was uh, him signing away Glass-Steagall and, uh, and, and, and uh, fucking the poor by yeah. gutting out welfare. <laughs> because he he had to be friends with uh, Newt Gingrich. That's right. He had he had to do the pie bipartisanship right. bullshit. He had to get something done. Yeah. Something to hurt the little guy. Well, yeah. Well, you Republic know? Republicans always want yeah. to hurt the little guy because they have waged war against the poor. Yes. Well, the rich have always uh, That's waged war against the poor. President Richard Nixon resigned on August of 8th, 1974, after three articles of impeachment were drafted charging him with obstruction of justice, abuse of power, and contempt of Congress. He was pardoned by his successor, President Gerald Ford, when he served in the House. Ford famously declared that an impeachable offense is whatever a majority of the House of Representatives considers it to be at that given moment in history. The allegations swirling around President Trump could provide the seeds for formal charges in the future. But Trump has at least one thing going for him that his predecessors did not. The Congress that would have to impeach and convict him is, is controlled by his Republican Party. Yeah, well, uh, they make the laws to favor themselves the corrupt, the greedy and the corrupt. So all this reform that was talked about in 2016, you know, uh, um, um, change, election reform, health care reform, this change. reform, that, change, positive change, grassroots revolution, blah, 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 blah. Well, since uh, all you uh, uh, brain cell deficient uh, American uh, uh, a redneck evangelical morons just keep on re-electing Republicans that change is not going to take place and you're shooting yourself in both feet let alone, ow, ow. Let alone one foot yeah. because you don't have a pot to piss in people that don't have a pot to piss in voting for those that want to throw away the pot completely where you have nothing to piss in <laughs> You know, I mean, we are witnessing just how great President Donald Trump is making America. Since his plan is to cut corporate taxes by 20%, yeah. those increased personal deductions will mean nothing. Well, when he said make America great again, there, there should be, uh, there should have been a disclaimer that says, uh, make, uh, Saturday Night Live a great again. 
due to such high cuts to the wealthiest one percent there will be less tax revenue to the federal government yeah well you'll strangle the middle class like as usual they're, they're already uh, almost dead this means less revenue that can be given to the states this means less the states are able to give to the municipalities, the boroughs, the townships, the city. So cities. what does this mean for the middle class? America, most America's cities are uh, have deteriorated uh, substantially. Uh, uh, Roads, bridges, uh, uh, trains, blah, blah, everything. Well, we got abandoned uh, neighborhoods. You know, uh, uh, neighborhoods turned turned into like like a ghost town, abandoned ghettos. Yeah, half of Detroit, Camden, yeah, Trenton. Well, but I hear I hear there are other small cities that look uh, like huh. dumps too. I heard Memphis, Tennessee, somebody told me Pittsburgh looks like a dump now. Yeah, part of Pittsburgh Ph does. Philadelphia is getting dumpy. Where the hell is somebody... Uh, and high crime. Uh, the American Pickers. Oh, jeez, those guys. They were in a town the other day right. which lost everything. Oh, no stores on Main Street. No. Nothing. Well, because, you know, they didn't have no place to work. Main Street is the middle class. Yeah. But there was none. There was no middle class. There was no Main Street. Because those, those no. towns and cities and everything are going bye-bye. No funding. No funding, no... No yeah. people oh, to open up stores. Oh, but, uh, and what about the, uh, aside from uh, crumbling American uh, infrastructure, infrastructure, not being, not being uh, modernized and repaired, uh, our rail system is pathetic. There's a derailing every damn day. Other countries have the modern bullet train, monorails, uh, light rails. Two hundred miles an hour. Uh, light rails are. Are Jeez. beautiful to have, wonderful because you you eliminate uh, traffic, the need to buy a car, buses, uh, uh, the whole uh, the whole modernization of public transportation is not in the United States. No. It's it's in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. We still have the same crap, the same dinosaur Amtrak, uh, so on and so forth. So what does this mean for middle and working class taxpayers? Ultimately, it increases in lo it, it means increases in their local property taxes. For those who are unable to see this, Trump's plan appears to be sweetening the pot in the face of all those enormous tax cuts at the very top. Unfortunately, most Americans will not see this until the they are down the road when they receive their local tax bills. But, not to worry, since they can use the money deducted from their personal income tax to pay these increased taxes at the other end. I guess your existence is assured in this country if you are either a CEO or a fetus. You know what? You mean a lot to a Republican if you're a fetus or a CEO. A fetus, an embryo, a fertilized egg, or a CEO. <laughs> Period. Nothing in between. If you're if you're already born, you you're a moocher. If you're uh, uh, an adult that's not wealthy, you're still a moocher. That's pretty much it. Where is the outrage to Colbert's crude Trump joke? Oh, you mean he uh, he said something really funny but yet true about Donald Trump? Stephen Colbert? Yeah, and it was obscene. Um, I um, I saw uh, John Stewart uh, in a in a serious interview by. Um, a conservative uh, individual uh, 
I saw it on YouTube, and John Stewart was dead serious, and John Stewart hammered him. Yeah. John Stewart hammered him. When John Stewart wants to get serious, he gets serious. He gets serious. Yeah. He did a great job too. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Mike Kelly's outrage about Stephen Colbert's crude Trump joke is valid. It was an inappropriate comment that was way over the line. Way over the line. And Colbert is talented enough to disagree without being disagreeable. So, so it's not obscene to give the uh, um, the rich even more tax cuts and take away health care from the poor. That's not not a not uncalled for, but but this is uncalled for. Yeah. But the true obscenity here is what President Trump's policies are doing to our country. Well, okay. it's, um, like I said before, like I said many times, the word hypocrite um, should be right next to um, the word conservative or Republican in the dictionary. Because yeah. that is what they're famous for. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But is that late already? Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't put up my new clock yet. Oh. Oh, you have a new clock? I hope your new clock is not a crock. It's over there. I gotta get it. Well, that's not it. That's the old one. No, 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 no. Oh. Clock. 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 Cock. So that you could see the time over uh, here. Uh, you want you want me to put batteries in it and put it up there for you? If you can find it. Find the clock? Yeah, it's under those hats in a box. Gee, what what a what you an appropriate see. spot for it. Well, there's another one in the bedroom too. I mean, uh, an appropriate spot would be like on top of the, your cans, like right yeah, where I can. Yeah, this one has this one has a barometer on it, and a, oh really? I think a thermometer. I will. I will look into it. I will definitely look into it. We have time for one more article, reading regarding presidential credibility gap at its widest since Nixon. The Trump transgression are almost too numerous to keep track of. We have the innumerable reported Russian connections, the President's continuing refusal to show his tax returns, or to truly separate from his international businesses. Yeah, conflicts, conflicts of interest, uh, no blank trust. His cabinet appointment. No blank trust. Blind. Blind trust. Blind. blind trust. No blind trust. Yes, cabinet appointments is in a short of an insane asylum. Family financial sh Oh, corporatism. Businesses. His, yeah. his uh, uh, financial shenanigans. All legal, of course, yeah. The ever-changing political spin on his actions. And, of course, the tweets. Are you arguing, arguing with uh, young people at uh, three o'clock in the morning, you know, on on Twitter at, 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 after he was elected president. Drain the swamp. You have the swamp has quadrupled. You have bottom feeders left and pond scum after you drain the swamp. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the 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 swamp has grown into Lake Superior. <laughs> hey, somebody. Uh, Hmm. I'm not sure what park it is now in New Jersey. Is somebody must have thrown a smaller a smaller alligator in there, about three feet long only. In the, in the springtime, so it will grow throughout summer. Lovely. Well, and uh, it'll eat the ducks that are there. It'll it'll take down all the ducks, the yeah. baby ducks, the geese. It'll it'll feed off of. Uh, yeah, because we have plenty of uh, mallard, wild mallard and Canadian geese here in northeastern New Jersey, so it will feed on that until it gets large enough to hang out by the shoreline of, of, of the lake 
and uh, and grab somebody's child. Yeah, there you go. They like to. Uh, Cause all they did was put up a sign. Ambush. That's it. Put up a sign. They, they Alligator. Didn't, they didn't go look for it. No, they said it's not. It's not big enough to make any trouble. Yet. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but it, it, they grow fast when they're well fed. Yeah, that's possible. And there's yeah. plenty of ducks and geese out there for it to feed on. Yeah. Oh, it's not large enough yet. Yet. So let us. It's like a pothole in the street. The pothole is not large enough to fill in. Let's wait until somebody busts their axle on their car, and then we'll fill it in. In this case, let's wait for someone's child, toddler, uh, to be a victim, or someone's uh, beloved dog to be the first victim, and then we will uh, feel bad for momentarily, in grief, for about a minute, and then we'll send the crew out there to capture the alligator yeah, story yeah let's wait for a victim <clears throat> to appear to paraphrase if it looks like something bad and it smells like something bad <laughs> and it tastes like something bad it's bad did they mention what park it is no it wasn't van sondo and it wasn't saddlebrook it could have been in Pasay. <laughs> for sake. Yeah, it could have been. There is a park there, a lovely one, but. Uh, well, then it could have been that one. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I caught it in passing. Unbelievable. Okay. Every day, it seems, there is some new misadventure with President Trump. Barely four months in office. And it's just one forest fire after another. It seems almost deliberate. Indeed, it seems like a continuation of his normal business practice to create so much chaos that people can't focus on what he's really doing. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like the uh, Donald Trump administration is his ultimate reality show. He has created his ultimate reality show. Well, he is firing a lot of people now lately. Oh, he enjoys that. But I mean, I mean, all the shenanigans associated with his administration. It's it's just the ultimate reality show. Yeah. To top all reality shows for Donald Trump. Yeah. Indeed, it seems like a continuation of his normal business practice to create so much chaos that people can't focus on what he's really doing, and perhaps to mask his true goal, which to me looks like. A lot like ensuring that the Trump family is set to pull the international financial strings behind the scenes for life. Donald Trump, the king of chaos. Hey, that sounds like a good title for the show. People want to change. And with good reason. Democrats have been disappointing. Oh, as well as to say the least. But I don't think this was what the public bargained for in electing Trump. So it's now up to the House and the Senate, Republicans. They must take their heads out of the sand, clean up their mess. If these elected representatives truly care about the future of this country, warts and all, they should get Trump out now before it's too late. Crazy king of chaos. The nation would still be left with a Republican president, one who even sounds like you could at least reason with him. So what do they have to lose? Well, um, believe it or not, um, uh, evangelical religious freak Mike Pence uh, would still be a better choice than Trump. Hillary Clinton would be uh, a, would have been a way better choice than Donald Trump, even with her skeletons in her closet. Well, and that's quite a bit of skeletons. Of course, the the real true winner, uh, 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 hands down, and and you know some people will debate it. 
and say uh, that the election really was not as rigged as people think. The real victor of two, 2016 was Bernie Sanders yeah. because of the mo the moment excuse me the momentum he had the legions that showed up at his rallies and the policies the policies of what he wanted to do and he did it not by receiving uh, uh, campaign donations right. from, from corporations or the rich right he, he, he got he received donations from everyday Joe six-pack mainstream individuals Little guy. Yep. The, little, the little guy gave what he can afford, or she can afford, yep. and he was able to amass just that much money for his campaign, enough to get him in well, the... If it, in wasn't, the if it wasn't for the uh, superdelegates, he would have passed her. Oh, yes, okay. the superdelegates right. of the Democratic primaries and the Electoral College of the presidential election, uh, uh, the only honest election would be the popular vote across the board for, it. for Democrats and Republicans. Don't do what they do in Major League Baseball. They're smart enough to have the designated hitter rule in the American League, but not in the National League. Cross the board, popular vote. That's it, period. You get more votes, you get a higher number than your opponent, you'll win. Just like a, a, a sports. The, the team with the higher score wins. Except in golf. Except in golf <laughs> and, and horseshoes. Horseshoes. Yeah, ho almost only applies to horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. Yeah, horseshoes, golf, and dominoes. And with the most uh, points, or, or pips, they call them, you know, the dots on the domino, loses. Ah. Yeah, well, golf, yeah, let's just take golf, for example. You know, you you got you to gotta get the ball in the hole with the least amount of strokes. Yeah. It's amazing how much real estate is wasted on a on a sport where you're <laughs> out there in 90 degree weather Ugh. heat and humidity chasing a little white ball around and all that beautiful land is wasted same thing with cemeteries you know roll beautiful rolling hills of people that are buried uh, 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 horizontally taking up space instead they could bury them vertically and they and they and they they'll only take up like about like a foot. Well, you know, I mean, or or, or just you know, mausoleums. Ma well, mausoleums take up real estate, you know. Yeah, but they have the they have those ones like in uh, Los Angeles, where um, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, well, the water. The Chickarini was Wood Kennedy and etc. Marilyn Monroe, where she is buried. She's probably buried in a drawer or something. In a mausoleum mm -hmm. where there are other people. Well, I've been to mausoleums because my, my many of my relatives <laughs> are in a, uh, maus a marble mausoleum. Yeah, yeah. You know, they tend marble. Uh, it tends to be the element, the stone, the material of choice for the dead. Uh, also, just like lilies are the flower of choice for the dead, for some reason, somebody decided, oh, you know what, for funerals, let's pick the lily flower, the fleur de lis. And they're in there, and they're in the, these drawers. Yeah. Uh, little, a little draw for ashes, yeah. bigger draw for the body, you know. Uh, but anyway, listen, they can make friggin' They could make cured Italian sausage, a salami, out of you. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Soil and green. Come residential, come, come residential. Come resurrection time, a great white throne judgment. Uh, you think God is able to uh, uh, resurrect somebody if they were made into a, into a, a salami? If you were burned up. He's got you on tape.
that he can he can resurrect you, right? He can resurrect so, you, and he can read your whole future. So rather, whether I mean past, whether you're mm -hmm. ashes or dust, or a body full of formaldehyde, yeah, or a mummified body with herbs and spices. He's got your number. Kentucky for, uh, eleven herbs is you know. And it ain't a soul. Okay, it ain't a soul. That that's uh, that's waiting in the, it's right. in the waiting room. Right. Paradise or right. uh, what, what did Ken create call it? Paradise or right. um, or Hades. Yeah, well, Hades. Well, Hades is the grave. Well, listen, listen. Herbert W. Armstrong said it best. The word hell, Hades, it means the grave. The grave. The grave. Yeah. You know, and then there's uh, well, the lake of fire is another story, but um, the uh, this is providing we're not just a big extraterrestrial experiment, because then that wipes the slate clean. All it, bets are off. All bets are off. You know, uh, 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 or demons really being <coughs> uh, extraterrestrials traveling between dimensions and parallel universes. Or coming to wormholes and everything, all bets are off, and that includes the Vatican and and everything else. But um, no matter how you slice it, it doesn't matter what happens really when you're dead because you you're going to be resurrected. You're going to come back, and uh, you know whether whether you believe in a rapture or not, whether you die now, or whether you die later. <laughs> Whether you're, you're alive during the, uh, the tribulation, whatever, no matter how you shake it, you still have the same destination, which is the great white throne judgment. Isn't that true? Now, when does yeah, New Jerusalem you know. start? When, it, when it, it, it descends from the, from the sky? Is that after, after, after the thousand years reign, you know, reign of Jesus? That's the world tomorrow. After right? the millennium. That's when a new earth and new universe is created, right? Then there's a new Jerusalem that that with all the gemstones and the the jasper and this that and the other thing and it, it descends. Okay. Mm -hmm. The crim to the crim. Okay. I will finish my yinling. Thank you for joining us. I, oh, by the way, that the reading, the last reading about Trump, uh, I'm going to need it to, um, huh? well, you know what, I'm not going to need I'm not going to need it. I'm going to go with my hunch. Oh. Okay, we'll see you next time. Progressive discussions. Bye-bye. Say so long to these so people. So long, people. All right.